Sunday's Gospels, the uh, 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And Jesus uh, tells the disciples a parable. There was a, a rich man who had a, a manager and word came that his manager was squandering. The manager was squandering the property, his property. So he summoned him and said, what is this that I hear about you? Give me an account of your management because you can no longer be my manager. So the dishonest manager thought to him, so what am I going to do? Now that I've my job has been taken from me. I'm too old to dig and too ashamed to beg. And then he decided what he would do since he'd lost his job. He summoned his master's debtors one by one and asked them, asked the first one, how much do you owe my, my master? He said, 100 jars of oil. He said, take your bill, sit down quickly and write 50. And to another he asked, how much are you in debt? And he said, 100 uh, containers of wheat. He said, take your bill, sit down quickly and write 80. And the manager um, the manager um, commended his dishonest, uh, the, the, the master commended his dishonest uh, manager for acting shrewdly because the children of this age are shrewder in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. So make friends for yourselves from dishonest wealth so that when it's gone they may welcome you into eternal homes. And Jesus also in that this gospel he talks about um, not being able to serve two masters. You either love one and hate the other or are devoted to one and despise the other. You can't serve both God and wealth. Um, Look, it's good that the gospel talks about money because it's so preoccupying, such a big part of our lives. And uh, it keeps the world going around. But there's also a sense of despair that it's got a grip of us that we really is. We're the servants of money, global finances, and it's as if the, there's this inexorable sense of the foot at the throat of the poor who are getting poorer and the rich richer, relatively speaking. doesn't seem we can do much about it to give up on. We give up on this uh, greed, even lionize it. Um, the thing that the turning point in this gospel is that he's going to lose his job. That's what makes him change. That's what makes him see the, the suffering, the pain, the cry of the poor, the people who are in debt. That was part of that forgiveness of third world debt, the reason behind it. Um, to make us human, human beings together. And uh, to know that it's the poor that hold the key to the kingdom. That, uh, They, uh, they are the ones that welcome us into God's kingdom. They are the ones who live in trust, utterly dependent, utterly grateful. Uh, they can teach us that we need some shock like having our job taken from us. <laughs>